Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code. Well, as you can see, I'm running the latest version, uh, the, almost the latest version actually, the 2024 edition. I see there's a new update, which I'm definitely going to check out. But that said, in this video, we're going to be talking about the split tool. Now, what does the split tool do? Exactly what you should, uh, think it does, it uh, splits objects. Now, why would you want to use that? Well, let's say you're working on a statue and there's a piece broken off or you are working on a rock and you want to uh, make it look like granite, something like that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the voxel sculpting room. We're going to grab an object. Let's say uh, we'll do this uh, cube right here. And we're going to click on apply. And this orange proxy will move out of the way as soon as we select our tool. But first, what I want to do is bump up the resolution, right? So we're going to hit the space bar. We're going to go to res plus. Once again, res plus, res plus. One more time. And now we're at 2.7 million, which is fine. Okay. Now let's get rid of this orange proxy uh, cube. We're going to hit the space bar, uh, space bar one more time. We're going to go and look for the split tool. Now, it's under the objects menu. It's called split, obviously, and we're going to click on it. Now, once you have that selected, you have the option to go up to this menu or click on E on your keyboard, right? That's the one we want. And we're going to click and pull a line through the object like so. And then we're going to close that triangle. This turns into a circle when you get close and click on it, right? Okay. Now, you're probably thinking nothing at all happened, right? Well, it did, trust me. Because if we now go in and grab the move tool, let's hit the space bar. We're going to go to the move tool right here. What we can do is we can go in here and we can move one half. So we're just going to grab it and we're going to slightly shift that, right? So that's kind of the idea behind the tool. Now, if you are working, like I said, on a statue and you want to have uh, certain areas broken off or you want to have, um, I don't know, you want layers shifting over one another, that's how you can do it, right? So it's super, super cool. So let's go back to our split tool and let's do that one more time. We'll go and take this corner. There you have it. Give that a second. Grab our move tool again, grab that corner, and there you go, right? Pretty neat if you ask me. Anyway, so that is our split tool. That's how that works. Uh, another tool in your tool belt, I would say. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I'd love to see you guys again, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.